Um, we knew they they did, had gotten their heads up, having won two out of their last three. They uh, they came in here and I, I thought they shot it exceedingly well in the first half. And um, you know I think it's a credit to our league. Um, we talked about it last week. That what if you did finish first? You know who are you gonna who are you gonna get in the first round? Rice, you know Tulane who had us down twelve. Uh, Central Florida. It can be a great uh, awakening for for this basketball team that that you uh, don't just show up at home, uh, rely on the crowd, expect that to uh, to get you over the top. You know we were down 12 to SMU at home here, a team that had won five in a row. We were down to Tulane 10. We were down to Tulsa 10. Uh, there's no easy nights, and um, I thought they outplayed us. I thought uh, they played very smart. With the lead, um, they they took the shot clock down underneath uh, 10 seconds every trip, uh, put us in situations where we really had to uh, be poised and patient defensively, which I thought we were in the second half. Uh, we held them to 26 or 27 percent in the second half, seven field goals. Um, first half they wore us out from the perimeter. It took. Uh, um, our guys getting lit up to understand that when they came out in the second half. I thought we played with the kind of effort that you have to play with at home. You know, great defensive teams are tough to beat at home. We were not a great defensive team for 20 minutes against a very good basketball team, and they made us pay. Um, I thought Randy really came to play. I thought he played with uh, an extraordinary effort. Um, but, uh, you know, we the first possession, we got a pick and steal from Jordan, went down and laid it up. And I thought our guys thought it might just be easy from that point on. Uh, I didn't see quite the same effort, same, same intensity. Uh, we'd talked about Gaynor being a guy that, that uh, could really play. Um, and I thought he played very, very well. He, his first three shots, um, you know, he counted the seams on the ball and stepped in and knocked them down from 15, 16 feet. Um, Sykes was a guy that should not be three for three in the first half, but he made his pay with drives to the basket not understanding game planning and personnel and who he was, but he got it deep on us. Uh, we, we turned the ball over uh, early, the first three minutes. Uh, we had a couple turnovers that led to easy baskets. And when you let teams get their head up and let them hang around and they're patient, like Central Florida was patient tonight, uh, with the kind of skill level that they have, they can make you pay. Um, this puts us in a situation where we have to go on the road and go get a win. It'll be difficult. Over at uh, at East Carolina, it's a team that's beaten Central Florida twice this year. So uh, you know they shoot the ball better than Central Florida. Um, got a big guy that can play. So um, it'll be very very difficult. Do y'all have any questions you want to ask me? Points in the paint favored you guys again tonight. It seems like you got the looks you needed, but uh, uh, offensively weren't able to knock things down. Is that something you work through or just? Kind of well, you know, um, we 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 looked at this this shot charts at halftime and um, you know first of all you got to guard the three-point line and and really I've always said if you can't guard the three-point line you can't guard I mean that's just the easiest thing in the world get up underneath a guy and go guard it um, we didn't do that we didn't do that um, but we we had eight point blank misses at the rim in the first half just right at the rim that being said we still gave up 66 percent in the first half, 66%. And you're not going to beat anybody doing that. And, uh, and that, was, uh, that was the real issue for our team. Uh, had we made those shots, been fool's gold, you're up one or two, you're down one or two, you know, uh, but you don't feel good about it. Um, uh, we, we're capable of playing with that effort all game long. Um, that's when we're at our best. Um, I, I didn't like uh, – Couple things tonight. I didn't like not rebounding the ball off of missed free throws. Uh, we we got it to 10, 10 uh, with 11 minutes to go. They're already in the two shot bonus, which has been a real strength of our team. Not fouling, uh, we may be the best team in the league at that. But they were in the two shot bonus. Uh, they miss free throws. We don't get them back. They make us pay on the back end. Gabe, um, I, I would like to know more about the technical. But you don't lose poise or you don't celebrate a play. These are, this is why you have tough, closed practices, you know. 
for situations like that. And, um, and we didn't, um, you know, that, that was a, a pivotal point in the game. You know, there's eight or nine minutes to go in the ball game. We, we have an opportunity still to, to bring this thing down. Our crowd, by the way, was um, just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Um, I, I just I, I can't thank them enough for coming out. Uh, they worked harder than we did in the first half, I can tell you that. And um, you, you learn from it, and this may be a lesson well learned uh, going into – uh, the conference tournament, knowing that uh, just because we're at home doesn't mean that it, that teams are going to lay over and and um, and let us go take a win, and um, and uh, they will be reminded of this constantly, constantly, every practice, and go, going into every every home game that we have left, which is Marshall and um, and Memphis. What are you expecting from East Carolina? A, a team that really shoots the ball, a veteran team that probably fits Jeff Lebo better than his Auburn teams because of his style of play. This team fits his style. They're, they're guys that can make shots, and they got a couple big guys in there that can rebound it and score it on the block. It's a talented team by all accounts. Uh, I watched a little bit of tape last night on them. Um, we have to um, um, regroup. We'll practice tomorrow at 4 o'clock over in Greenville and uh, see if we can't get right. How tough is it to play three games in, in a five-day stretch? Well, it shouldn't be tough because, you know, we're going to have to play three in a three-game stretch in the conference tournament. This may be the greatest thing that ever happened to us. We may look back on it and say it's it was nothing, you know. And, um, you know, I know in the NBA during the lockout year we played three and three nights, okay. And... Um, you, 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 12 times a year, you played four and five nights. So, you know, we are playing guys a lot of minutes. Mike, Mike still hobbled. I would like to say I thought Kevin Green came in and, and served himself well. I would have loved to have had Kevin in the preseason in, in some of our games where we had a chance to look at a lot of players. But every game has been so tight, it's been very difficult to, to garner that confidence to put an old guy in in one of those one-point games or three-point games on the road or at home. So, um, but I um, really liked what I saw with him tonight. Kevin, Kevin, well, Kevin Green's the linebacker. Yeah, Kevin Perry, that's right. Old Kevin's what I call him. Anything else, guys? We got a 3 o'clock flight. Yeah, I got to go get on an airplane. <laughs>